What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. So what I decided to do was rage sell Tyler Eifert, the flashback, and go with O.J. Howard. Now, I showed you guys in previous videos um, the comparison to the two. Now, you're going to be losing a little bit of run block and other things like that, but we're going to be getting a whole lot of speed with the 85 overall. So what I'm going to explain to you what I did. Um, pretty much, like you know, most of you guys know, it's between 150 to 200K for each rising star, but these guys give you uh, six uh, slots for any chemistry. That's like the end thing about them. That's why they're pretty good to do. So you get, um, you know, one from doing your silver token, whatever. You know, you do this set right quick. You get one of them, and then you're going to need to make these tokens, all right, to own, uh, to, to get the actual upgrades for them. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make the upgrade tokens uh, for him right now. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and add it into his set, and we're going to get him up and running, all right? So you have to do this, I think, what, like four more times or something like that? We'll do that, and then we'll get that situation taken care of. And then we're going to see how he performs. Now, like I told you guys, wh when you start looking at certain attributes and the way that your team operates, me primarily, I like to be, you know, I pro, and then for the most part, I'm in shotgun and, you know, different formations and shotgun a lot. So if I can get a tight end that can get down the field on streaks with this height, it works for me. Okay, his speed definitely works for me. But what EA does is they take away from other things within the game. They make it so that, yeah, he's fast, but he's, gonna, he's not going to have certain attributes that other, you know, like the blocking and all that stuff like that, that you look for in other players. Okay, so I just want to make sure you guys are aware of that. That situation is the way that it is, you know, as far as he goes, simply because that's what EA intentionally does. They don't want you to be able to, um, you know, they don't want you to be able to just have a, a sick card and you're just running around and doing whatever you want. They want you to, like work for it like extremely hard so that's what they do okay so now we're gonna go over we're gonna find him um he should be someplace in the newest part because we had just recently uh got him so those are the five collectibles that we need for him and then he should be someplace down here where is he okay there he is all right so we're gonna click on him we're gonna click the upgrade button and we're gonna go and we're gonna start upgrading him right now so we need one two three four five okay for his final tier so here we go let's go ahead we're gonna add it to it Okay, bam. Let's go ahead and do that. Get him all the way up there. All right. And then we're going to put him in the lineup. And we're going to see exactly how he, how, how he looks with the, um, the go deep cam. Because he only needs one. I think. Because that's all that uh, the other guy had, right? I think that that's all we put on... Um, what's the other idiot's name? Eifert. Yeah, now he's an idiot. So in case you're going to ask me. Yeah, he's an idiot now because we don't need him. But before when he was on the team, he was cool. You know what I'm saying? So now he's an 86 overall. So you need a total of 11 of those 80 overall cards because every two gives you one of these uh, tokens to upgrade and you're going to need five of them to get them to the max plus the card that you have to add the upgrades to, the tokens to, all right? So for his chemistry, all right, we're going to, he's only played for Tampa Bay, right? I think that's all he's done. Yeah, should be inactive. All right, so scheme, oh, it's times three. All right, so we're going to have to take away, um, go deep from one of the other players because, uh, oh, well, uh, well, we could add something else to him probably. No, I think we could because we're going to be looking to do something else with the rest of the squad, but we already have a lot of people with go deep. The other guy only, we only need plus one on him though. At this point, we only need plus one. So we're just going to add the plus one go deep for now, but we know that he has two separate things where we can add three times of whatever. All right. But he, what, why is it only, why are we missing two? Who else, who else do we get rid of? Why is EA playing games with me, bro? I, I could have swore that, did we get rid of, Tyler Eifert only had, hold up, let me go back to the, let me, let me go to the lineup real quick, I gotta go to the, oh, he's not in the lineup right now, I think that that's what's going on, he's probably not in the lineup, because I'm about to rage, because I know that Tyler Eifert literally only had one, um, he only had one go deep chem, so let's just make sure, so when we add him into the lineup, who is this, is that the same, guy? oh, that's why, we only can have one of them in the lineup, so we're gonna have to put times two on this guy, right, because that's, yeah, we can't only have one, okay, yeah, yeah. Thank you, EA. Thank you for reminding me of that. That Now it makes sense. All right, so we're going to take this guy. I did not realize that we had one already there, so we're going to remove him from the lineup, okay? And then from there, we're going to add the one that we just made, but now we have to make him times two because we just took away that guy. So, bam, we'll do that. Okay, so now he's in the lineup. We'll go deep, but we need to, we need to max it out. So we're going to go back to his card and make him times two, Okay. We'll just spend the training, whatever, because I thought that we had enough, but I don't want to stop messing with other cards right now. So for these purposes, we'll just go, go, you know, go deep times two. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Charge me more, EA. Bro, charge me more. Just keep charging me, bro. Like, you shouldn't even be char- You should know that I'm an idiot and that I put the wrong amount and just give me a refund or something. Like, just not keep charging me for it. Doesn't matter. All right, so now everything is set. He hasn't had anything, like, as far as, like, his overall hasn't gone up at all. He just stayed at an 86. But he has the, um, he's going to have some chems now that with the go deep, the beat press and stuff like that, his spectacular catch goes up. You can see, like, the 85 speed. That is, that is very, very critical, in my opinion, uh, compared to other uh, players that are in the same position. Now, you could go Team Diamond, all this other stuff, and have the better, higher overalls. But, okay, spectacular catch. That doesn't really... Deep route running only goes to 74. Beat press only goes to 74. Okay, so those things is where he was probably um, not able to compare with, like, Eifert or whatever. But, like I said, let me go to his run block. I think his run block went up a little bit, no? With the way that we just did everything, so you guys can get an idea of it. Um, run block is a 65. I think the other guy was in the 70s or something. Pass block is a 65. All right, so he has lower run block. Um, Eifert never blocked anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But what we could do is, to test it out, we can see if he blocks at all um, by just simply going into a... Um, one of the competitive gauntlets and just seeing if he even looks to attack and block anybody at any time. So what we, let's go and do that. Let's go and check him out and see what he's doing. We're going to go and check that out really, really quickly. All right, well, we got much champions. Much, I don't want to get into an actual game to test that out. So we're going to go and... Okay, we still haven't unlocked uh, long shot yet. So let's go to gauntlet where we know that it's competitive mode. And we're going to run like a stretch play. All right, so rushing touchdown. Let, let's, see, let's see what he does because I'm not... With the way that we have it set up right now, we got a really sick fullback, right? We got rid of Eifert, and I got this guy primarily because of the speed. But when we choose to run the ball, he's going to have to block a little bit, all right? Just a little bit. Like, I don't really need him to do a lot. Just go out there and, like, put a finger on somebody when we're in iPro or any of the under center plays, you know, when I really need a good blocker. But overall, he's going to be uh, – bruh, when I send him on a streak in the slot now as a wide – I mean, like, as a tight end – People that are playing cover four, dropping all that stuff like that, it's going to be harder for them to do that because he's faster now. See, Eifert with an 80, when you go with the differences in speed, it's a big difference in Madden 19 from 80 speed to 85. Like, in 16, it didn't really matter because you just throw the ball up in the air and a guy will get mossed. This year, if you get the step, you really get the step. And then they give you an animation where the guy's on your back or something, but you still catch the ball. All right, so what we're going to do is this. We're going to go here uh, to iPro. We're going to go iForm slot. All right. Now, our objective is to see just how well O.J. Howard can block this guy. Because remember, it's still Denver. It's competitive mode, but it is rookie. But the mode is competitive. So if he's able to identify a block in this competitive mode, don't worry about the difficulty. He'll be able to do it in-game, which you will see. Twitch.tv forward slash G. Myerswell. Free, feel free to go over there. Give me a follow and a sub, and you'll be ready to go when we go live. Okay, so look. He's blocking. He blocked, and so did the other guy. So did the other guy. So... Would that be... Hold on, let me, let me... He immediately went to the guy that was in front of him. Eifert never did that. Hold on, let me... What's, go, what's up? What's got into this guy? Hold on, let me... What's he doing here? He goes right to him. Who is that he's blocking, though? Who is he blocking? Who is that? That's Von Miller? Okay. You guys know as much as I do that I've played this... Um, I've shown you guys this same exact play, uh, play mode, and dudes never usually block Von Miller. If he could get out there and do that for me in whole blocks in games, it's a wraparoni with cheese, bro. It's like straight wraparoni with cheese action going on. Notice I'm going to keep running it to the right, though. I want to make sure. Like, I could easily... Okay, he's coming down kind of crazy over there. This will be a real real test. All right, we're going to flip the play, and then we're going to put OJ How? Why is... Oh, he can't go that way? All right, we got to put it back that way. All right, can, he... can we identify this guy and see if he still blocks him? This will be a really good test. Okay, he blocks that guy. That guy gets... Yo, Wow. All right, we're not going to run all the way for the six. We, oh, we can't. Oh, we just going to run right by him? All right, we can, we're, run, Ricky, run. All right, let's, let's stop right there, though. Let's stop right there to see, because they went and they stacked that side. They stacked that side, and he still picked up his block. Guys, you don't have to listen to me. You don't have to, you know, be like, all right, I'm going to go do it, too. You can do whatever you want, but let me just tell you something. A lot of you guys have been watching me play online live. You've never seen Eifert go out from the snap and block someone. You've never, what is his impact blocking? We're going to have to go to the auction house and check impact blocking. Something is making this guy block, and he's block. That's Von Miller. No, that's a, that's a, that's a, oh, okay, that's a punk corner safety guy. Okay, where's Von Miller? Who's blocking Von, Von Miller's on the D-line this time? Who blocks him? Who is that? 
Oh, Zach Martin. Well, he's a goon. He's a goon. That's supposed to happen. But I'm surprised at the way that everybody else is picking up blocks, bro. Out of a simple stretch play, they never really block. And then look at my fullback. He goes and does his block to Yo, okay. Let's go, let's go figure out what's going on. Look, we're gonna run this for six and just get out, you know, get our whatever. Well, we're maxed at XP, but I just like that the computer can't do anything about what we're doing as we test it out. And guys, remember, always test it out in competitive mode. Don't worry about the difficulty, even if you have a blitz or whatever. The computer will cheat and you'll get an idea of what's supposed to happen. Regardless of whatever every, anybody else tells you, just do it like this. If you go and try something in arcade mode, more than likely it'll always work because that's like the cartoon mode. But when you go to competitive, the players react. They just don't react as tough, but they go into the same similar situation. So, for instance, if I was playing online, which is typically, I guess, all pro uh, competitive, if OJ Howard holds that block, he wouldn't get it as long, but he would still engage into the block. Like, he's not going to be an idiot is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to, we're going to go to the auction house. Well, I, I pressed the X button by mistake there, but we're going to go into the auction house right now, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to compare our tight end that we have right now first to Tyler Eifert. So we're going to go quality 87, okay? Okay, that's 97, so I don't know who has that card yet. Probably some weirdo that direct deposits his, his check to uh, EA. All right, so we're going to do that, 86 to 87, and then we're going to go over to tight end. And then we're going to see exactly why he's doing what he's doing. Because something that he's doing makes him better than Tyler Eifert. Okay? Something that he's doing makes him way better than this guy. What is it? He's seven points stronger. That just that can't be it. The catching is down one. Catching traffic is down four. Spec catch down. Short route running down. Middle route running down. Run block. We're down by ten. So what is making... So, something's going on here. What is the deal right now with what EA is doing? Other than his speed, he's getting out there, but, okay, acceleration, 88. God damn, that, that's, that's pretty good. Carrying is a 70. That's pretty similar. Pass block, 65. He had a 70. Run block, 65. He had a 75. Jumping. He can't jump? Bro, what the f... That, that's weird. Okay, trucking. He has a higher truck. Elusiveness. He has a higher elusiveness. Okay, ball carrier vision. We don't really care about that. We do our own ball carrier vision. He got a better stiff arm. Spin move is the same. Okay. Juke move, a little bit higher, so we might be able to get some impact. That's what it is. That's what it is. The impact blocking. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. That's what it is, guys. So it's the impact block that's making this guy be a savage animal. Now it all makes sense. So we don't need to really worry about run block as much. It's the impact block. Oh! Okay, because that dude was doing things that the other guy wasn't doing. Let me make... Hold on. Let me see something real quick. What is, what is Kyle... What is his... Um, what is his impact block? What's going on with him right here? Okay, 77. Okay, so he's still, he's still under... Okay. But his lead block is 90. Run block is 80. Okay. But his impact blocking is crazy, bro. Wow. Wow, that, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good right there. Like, I have to be honest with you. Now that I know that, we're going to have to... We, we need that chem. We're going to get... We're going to add the impact block uh, chemistries to our, um, our old line and everything like that. We're going to figure out what we're going to do with Go Deep. And then we're going to start... Hold on, wait a minute. Let me go back to that. What, what, was, what is this guy's impact block? Zach Martin, what is it? Impact block, 89. No, no, that's not his impact block. Where is it? Why doesn't it show it right here? Why, why do we have to go? EA, why don't you show impact block right there on the screen so we don't have to go to this? Like, impact blocking. It's only an 83. Okay, Travis Frederick. Impact blocking, 85. Lane Johnson, only an 80. Tyron Smith, 79. We got to up these guys' impact blocks with our next chemistries. That's what we have to do. We just discovered something, guys, and we discovered it together. I can't wait to get this team out on the gridiron. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.